Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another Dirty Diggers video. Now, what do you do to dig a basement when the ground is already lower than the basement, but also when the ground is very soft? There's no solid dirt, it's just pure mud. So what is it you can do when the ground is just mud? Now, you obviously can't just keep digging because the more you dig, sometimes the worse the ground actually gets and you're not getting anywhere. Sometimes that is the solution. You can just dig a little patch of mud and hit your solid ground, but in this case, that wasn't the solution. The further down we dug, the more water pressure and groundwater was coming up and making the ground very unstable. That's when you have to call in the engineers. You can't just kind of do what you think is right. You have to have an engineer come out and test the soil, pressure the soil has, what type of stone is the best option to go with, and have them obviously make that decision. So in this video here, we're going to see how that process went. When I started filming, I had already gone through the first day of excavating the material. Wish I had gotten that footage, but I didn't. It was pretty much just me taking out the mud. But the next day here is what I got, and it's uh, us after we had already added some stone in, but picks up from there. Hopefully you enjoy this video. And guys, if you do like these videos, please remember to give them a like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps a lot. Spread the dirty digger word and enjoy the video. All right, good morning. So we're back here today at this project here. We started uh, yesterday excavating for these two particular lots here. Uh, basically the ground is no good. It's like a swamp, swampy ground. So we had to remove all this mud and organic material that you see here. And now we're backfilling with, we put a basin of four inch crush stone yesterday. Had some engineers here checking the soil and they're the ones that approved the stone we're supposed to use. So uh, this particular lot, the first one, we probably have about close to two feet, probably somewhere between 18 inches to two feet, especially in that back corner. And we got to come up probably another foot, 18 inches or so to the orange marks. I've laid out some stakes and it gets, it tapers off. And by the time you get to that lot, <clears throat> excuse me, by the time you get to the edge of that lot, it's only about, I don't know, somewhere between three to four inches of stone. The ground's pretty firm there. It was just sort of skimming it off to taper it up. But yeah, this first lot, we got about two to three feet of stone. And then that one just goes uphill till, yeah, ends off at about whatever, somewhere between three and six inches, a bit more at the back, a little less at the front, but yeah. So what I'm doing now is like I said, laid out all these stakes, took my laser, got a height, just so that when the truck's back in, got dump trucks back in, dumping off the edge. And then I'm just gonna push it in without turning, just very casually and lightly push in with the dozer, get it close to grade. And then we're gonna pack it with a, uh, if it's a 48 inch packer I think we have here roller the engineer will be here to test it out and see how it goes I'm gonna start working on that waiting for some more trucks to come in and then we'll keep plugging away
with this view you can see a little better what I mean about pushing the gravel all into a pile into the back corner of the first lot. Again that lot was very very soft that's where we had the main issue was in the back half of that first basement and then it got gradually better into the second and a little bit into the third. So basically I would pile it all up into the start of the first basement then use the excavator to push it all over to get to the far side of the first house. Towards the very end, once we had about two to three feet at least of gravel on there, then I was pushing it over with the dozer, but again, minimal amounts of passes just to get it somewhat level on grade. And then we had Earl at the very end come on with the packer pack everything down we had the engineer there testing it to make sure the ground was compacted to close to 100 percent as you could get and at the end of the day it all worked out well so once again if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always thank you for watching